there are two major plumbing systems in the body. The first one is the, uh, the blood system, which pumps blood, and uh, in that blood you have oxygen and nutrients to the cells. And the other system is the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system is your sewer system, where it's getting rid of waste and toxins. And there's a, there's a big difference between how fast it goes. The, 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 uh, the blood system flows quite rapidly, and the lymphatic system normally goes pretty slow. But as we use a tool like this, the rebounder, you increase both uh, vascular uh, blood flow, but you also increase the lymphatic flow. The lymphatic flow actually, it will increase the flow 10 times. And the little uh, one-way check valves will actually open and close, open and close, as much as 100 times a minute. So it significantly increased getting rid of the toxins and the waste out of the system. When we use a, a mini trampoline like this, we also get the benefit of increasing the white cell count. And the white cell count, we can see elevate as much as three times or 300% if you jump on the mini trampoline for three to five minutes, and it will last up to one hour. So if we have a person that has cancer, we encourage them to jump on the mini trampoline, and they, don't, they can just bounce. But for five minutes every hour throughout the day, and that will keep that lymphatic system, I mean the, uh, the immune system up three times during the day. Now when we look at the mini trampoline, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, it, it's very basic, you're just bouncing on it. And some folks will put a, a, uh, a bar on it, which hooks on the two uh, legs right here, it comes up, and they can just hold it as they bounce. Uh, it's a great tool to use for people who have uh, problems with balance. It's a great tool to use for people who uh, are trying to increase their bone density. When astronauts come back from space, they have bone density loss because in space they have weightlessness. And so uh, they will put them on a mini trampoline or a rebounder, NASA will, to increase that bone density by helping to force that calcium into the bones. And NASA can afford anything they want to on that. And so this is an economical tool that will help you also increase your, your bone density. But for the immune system, folks can just do this, or they can bounce like this. I mean, you can jump on it, but just bouncing, what's just called the health bounce, that can increase that white cell count, as we said, threefold or 300% for up to one hour when jumping just three to um, uh, five minutes. Now, when I first started using the mini trampoline, uh, it was back a number of years ago, Dr. Harold Cherney in encouraged me to put it in our gym, and I bought three of them. And the, um, the next day, every single patient we put on that, they were, uh, they were sick with flu-like symptoms. And, uh, and I, so I'm thinking, what happened here? So I called Cherney, and I said, Cherney, why are these folks, uh, why are they sick? And he said, well, what did you do? And he started laughing, because he knew what I had done. And I said, I just put them on 15 minutes BID, twice a day. And he just starts laughing more. And I said, Charney, why are you laughing? He goes, Walt, well, I did the same thing. He said, these folks are so clogged up that are coming to you from all over the world with this disease and that disease. They're very sedentary. And their lymphatic system is just clogged up. And when you put them on that, that rebounder and they start bouncing, even just as simple as this right here, he says that's going to turn those pumps on. As we said, it increases that, uh, you know, that flow you know, 10 times what it normally flows. The liver can't handle that. And so you get what's called a Hertz syndrome. Dr. Hertz came up with this, uh, it's called a healing crisis. And the liver can't handle it. It can put a person into a, a challenge for the next, uh, you know, a couple, you know, day or two, which is like flu-like symptoms. He says, here's what you do, Walt. Have him jump on it for just uh, uh, five minutes, three times a day, the first week. And then he says, put him on 10 minutes, three times a day, the next week. And then the third week, you can go to your 15 minutes twice a day, and he said, you won't have any problems. And then you can increase from there. And it was exactly right. I haven't had any problems since. And it's a real simple, uh, simple bouncing. And if you're concerned with you know, keeping your balance or falling off, all you do is just put a little bar on it. You can buy it with a bar, or you know, y'all can make one out of boards or, or out of uh, some conduit, and that will help to, uh, to stabilize you as you're bouncing. So how does a rebounder work? How does it work to improve our lymphatic flow, our vascular flow? And that is by acceleration and deceleration using gravity, the g-force. And so as you go down, you suddenly push you back up. As you come down, you go down fast. And that turns those pumps on, those little one-way valves, pumping that lymphatic 
uh, lymph up through the system as much as 10 times faster. So what are some, key, some keys for that to happen? One is, when, is you want to make sure you have good springs. If you don't have the proper springs, it actually can cause more uh, challenges on your knees, your hips, your joints, and also your organs. So you want a spring that tapers. It kind of tapers like a football, so the, the middle of the spring is actually a, a little wider and the ends kind of taper. Remember when we were kids and those old rocking horses we had and we'd rock back and forth and the springs were bigger in the middle and they were smaller at the ends and they tapered? That's what you're looking for. Some of the cheaper uh, mini trampolines, the spring is just a total rectangle. And what happens is as you go down, it pushes you back much faster. When you come up, it pushes you. And so it's like you're bouncing like that instead of the the soft bounce which this this rebounder has because it's uh, it's tapered. So again, we're talking immune system. There's all way all kinds of ways you can increase your immune system and exercise. Walking is good, um, swimming, but a mini trampoline is one of the best and getting that lymphatic system turned on because of the g-force that acceleration and deceleration that happens with it again remember when you start start out slow five minutes twice a day and then for the first week then go to ten minutes uh, twice a day and uh, I'm sorry five minutes three times a day and then ten minutes three times a day the second week and then the last week can go to the 15 minutes twice a day or whatever you want. I used to have a guy that would come in and we had the bar and he would literally, he was from, from Korea, and he would bounce where his, his back end was that high. And he'd bounce on it each morning to get his exercise. And he would bounce on it for about 30 minutes. And I mean, he had his lymphatic system going. He had his vascular system going. And this guy was in his 70s. I mean, extremely fit. And so I encourage you, try it out. It's great.